Hey everyone, it's Megan, and today I'm here with my boyfriend Dustin. Hello. And I'm trying to get him more involved in my channel, so we're gonna be doing the boyfriend girlfriend tag, I think is how it said. So, yeah, we're gonna answer some questions about us. <laughs> <laughs> First question How long have we been together? Eight years. Eight years, that's right. And, well, we've known each other for nine years, mm -hmm. but we've been boyfriend and girlfriend for eight years. Where was our first date with our with each other? It was at a movie theater, but I don't know, which, yeah. I can't remember which movie we saw. Yeah, that's kind of hard, because we, that's all we did when we first started dating. We just went to movies all the time. Like every day. Like every day. Uh, <laughs> back when our money was just to use on whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we went to movies all the time, but I can't remember what was the first movie we saw. I can't remember either. What was your first impression of one another? <laughs> I remember this, but Megan doesn't remember this. But we were working at a retail store and we were opening the retail store. Yes. So it was like in construction. So we were there setting everything up. Mm -hmm. And I worked in the back in the stock room and did all the pallets and everything like that. And I first met Megan as this mean kind of rude girl who would not move out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> when I had the palette and I asked her, excuse me, and she gave me so much attitude and didn't move. I had to go around her because she was too busy like talking with her friends. Which is my best friend. Yeah. yeah I was talking with my, that's where I met her as well. And I don't remember that at all. <laughs> See, I remember my first time I remember really meeting you was when we were working the register because mm -hmm. I got moved to the cash register yeah, and so did I and that's when I first remember really meeting you and I guess my first impression of you is that you were just really passionate about you loved film and stuff and that's what I remember talking about all the time with you when did you meet each other's family mm. that was before we were even dating yeah I think so I know yeah because you had you came to my was it my 16th no, it birthday. Was, yeah, it was, it was a my birthday. 16, one of my birthdays. I think it was my 16th birthday. Yeah. And that's when you met like my dad and my stepmom at the time. Mm -hmm. And then I had been over at your house a bunch because mm -hmm. we would always go see movies and stuff together. So yeah, we met each other's long. families before we even were dating. Yeah. Because we were friends before we started dating. When did you know you were in love? I mean, it's kind of the same that's thing. It was weird, pretty early yeah. on, I think, because I mean, we were just. Hung we out so really much connected. that it was kind of a natural. Yeah, we just really thing. connected. Yeah. Um, like I said, we were friends first, so it just was like kind of an instant connection. Yeah. We were hanging out all the time. We were friends for probably about I mean, eight like months a, before. It was pretty close to a year. So I mean, we had yeah. been just kind of hanging out and working together and being friends, but mm -hmm. there was a point where we just kind of were hanging out every day. Every day. We were together almost every single day. Like all day. All just day. as friends. So it kind of was just like natural, like, hey, do you want to just start dating? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But, so, yeah. Um, who wears the pants in the relationship? Uh, I think it depends yeah. on different things. It depends on the situation. Yeah, yeah. different yeah. situations. Megan handles stress a lot better than I do. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, and you're more organized than I am. Yeah. But when it comes to like spending and stuff like that, yeah. I think you're I'm really more good like... At, like Hey, let's be frugal. Yeah. <laughs> like, so he's good at like making sure we aren't broke. <laughs> That's a good. Like I think it just depends on what the situation is, on yeah. who takes the reins Control. on things. For sure. So I don't think it's just like one of us is more no, than the other. It's definitely true. Yeah. What do you love most about your partner? You're like you're funny. <laughs> you like a lot of the same things as I do. Mm -hmm. And I think we're both, I think like you said, what kind of drew us together is we both have like these kind of goals and aspirations yeah. and they both kind of fit together really well. And yeah. so I think it's just kind of part of that. I do too. I think what I love most about you is just how passionate you are. I mean, from the day I met you, it was always like, this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it. And we had very similar interests. Like both of us wanted to go into very similar fields of work. And so it just, it all just kind of clicked. And yeah, I definitely think it's just how passionate you've always been. Do you ever get bored with each other? No. Uh, no. I, I mean, think like they say, there's that saying that like, 
you know you're in a good place when it's okay to be in the same room and be quiet. And be quiet, yeah. You know, like we say. don't have to talk necessarily. Because there are times where, you know, we do We're not trying to together. fill the space. Yeah, we don't fill the space really. I mean, there are times where we're like, oh, let's sit down and watch this movie together, or watch this show together. But then there's times where we're just doing our separate things. Like we might be in the same room together, but yeah. it doesn't, like, I don't know. Yeah, we just, I don't think we ever get bored though. I mean. Plus, I mean, for the longest time, we were both at the same college, mm -hmm. and we we're both taking classes. And that's one thing too. I think like we've known each other for nine years, mm -hmm. and we've pretty much been together every day, day. for I mean, we're nine together years, all the time. Uh, we went to the same college. We were almost in all the same classes. Um, we both have an opportunity to we work pretty at much two together. Places together. Yeah. We worked at Penny's where we met and then we also went and worked at Staples together. And now we both kind of do our own thing work wise, yeah. which kind of keeps us together a lot too. Yeah. And then filmmaking, uh, you produce a lot of my films and then when you were doing photography, you helped I produce was kind the, of producing that, those yeah. shoots. So I mean we've always worked together. So I don't think there's really been a time to be bored. We're always either kind of working together on stuff. things or just hanging out together. Yeah. What is your boyfriend slash girlfriend good and not good at? Um. That's <laughs> so hard. I don't know how to answer this. You're good at a lot of things. Like you're a great um, artist. He draws really well. I think he is. He's hard on himself. You're a great filmmaker. Um, no, see, he hard on himself. So I'm bad at taking compliments. <laughs> He's bad at taking compliments. That's what it is. So I was like, what are you bad at? I don't know. And he's he's even great like around the house too, like on that side of things. Like you always clean and like I'm so bad at cleaning. I think I that's probably one of the things I'm bad at is like staying tidy. Like I'm really organized in the things that I do. But when it comes to like the house and the bathroom, like my stuff is always everywhere. <laughs> and he, so I guess we balance each other out with that because yeah. you're really good at cleaning and like he likes things staying like really clean in the house. So well, I think like you're really good at is like you've got a lot of different talents, like from culinary to photography to art, also mm -hmm. graphic design. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you you do, and you're yeah, like crafting like and everything too. So I mean, you've got like so many different talents. Um, and I mean, the only thing I guess like bad at really is just, I don't know, like sometimes, I guess you could like say you get really involved though in certain things yeah. sometimes where like you get so focused, but I think that goes back to just being really passionate too. Like you yeah. just want to get things done and you want to get it right. Yeah. You could be a perfectionist, think, which isn't always, which isn't always which a good isn't thing. Always a bad thing either. No. Though. Yeah. So. But know. yeah, I mean, I really wouldn't say there's I much bad, like I really bad. I can't. Like, really I don't want to say bad. bad. It's not bad. It's just bad things. Traits. There's a ton of good things, though. I mean, like we're both very artistic people. Yeah, definitely. And so when it comes to the arts, I mean, there's I so think many the bad things. stuff just comes with being a creative person. Yeah, like you're very passionate. You get frustrated sometimes mm -hmm. because you're so passionate. Yeah, see, and, and you're a perfectionist yeah. because you're passionate about. We're very it, so. similar. <laughs> Do you inspire each other? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, we do a lot together. Like you were saying earlier, I mean, when he has a film, I help produce it. When I have photography, he helps produce it. So I think we're always constantly trying to inspire each other. Is your partner romantic, sweet, funny, serious, or a mixture of all? Mm, I would say you're probably a mixture of all. Really? Yeah. I think you are too. I think you're mo I think you're mostly funny and serious, which is totally opposite things, but he's always joking around. Sarcastic. He's really it's sarcastic. Kinda, it's kind of dry humor. I always tell him he lies a lot. I mean, we always tell him he's really bad. Lying. But he's not lying. He just like fibs about things that are like dumb. Like I don't know how to make an example of something. But to be funny. <laughs> but to be like, funny. Like I don't, he doesn't I don't like to do lie. it to hurt. Well, yeah, anything. and I don't lie and just lie to lie. No. Like. <laughs> and then he tells the truth like 10 seconds later. Cause I like, exaggerate and people are like, what, really? And I'm like, oh no. no, it's, just, <laughs> no it's, it's probably scary. really frustrating. <laughs> Maybe that should go in my bed. Thing. <laughs> it's funny too though. And then you're also totally serious. When it comes down to like what we're doing, you get super serious about stuff. So I think you're like both of those really. Yeah, same thing. You're probably a little more romantic than I yeah. am. That's okay uh, though. <laughs> yeah. 
What is your favorite type of music to listen to? Oh man. Um, yours is kind of... This is a hard question for you. I mean, kind of hard for you too because you listen to a lot of different things. You love, she loves K-pop mm -hmm. for sure. I do love K-pop. Um, but I mean, you're not as picky really. I mean, yeah. you'll kind of listen to anything that's like... I listen to a lot like, of what he listens to, like, because I love your taste in music. So if he puts the radio on, it's totally fine with me. And you're kind of like, I like it. top 40. Like you yeah, like a lot of I what do. the radio plays. I do like what the radio so. plays. I don't like listening to the radio though because they just like play the same two or three songs mm -hmm. over and over. But I do like to like, if I go on Spotify, I might go to like the top 40s list yeah. and listen to that. I think Mine's for you, everywhere. it's everywhere. I mean, literally you like, I just it sounds love funny. music. You pretty much like everything but country. What is my eye color? If you didn't know this about the person you were dating, you're in trouble. This is a bad thing. Your eyes are blue. Brown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, how do you not know that? And, I mean, if you don't know, like, just, like, just look <laughs> really quick. And, so you don't look, look really like quick. an idiot. Look. Like, <laughs> just try to glance over. What can each of you spend hours doing? This is so easy for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can literally spend hours on your phone reading the news. Mm -hmm. I love reading. <laughs> he loves reading. Before, before it was there were iPhones and stuff. It was just like just reading, reading. Yeah. But now just like reading. I think it's even worse though now because I can literally oh just read everything <laughs> and just go from one topic. He'll stay up till to like five in the morning on his phone reading. I'm like, I, do I need to take the phone away? Yeah. I just like you go to sleep. I just like to read, and then I also just like, like if for some reason, like if you go out or you do anything, like the TV goes off. It's not on. Yeah, he's it's very like music. solitary. Yours is. Um, I mean, like, you could play games for hours. Yeah. Like, your DS, you love Animal Crossing, mm -hmm. you could play that for hours. Yeah. And then Megan can definitely binge watch something. Oh my god. I don't so like bad. to binge watch. I'm There's so only been bad. like one or two series that I'm like, okay, let's watch them all over like a yeah. two day period. And when he does that, I'm so excited because I love TV shows. I like I love TV and Friends. I watched the entire from season one to season ten. I think it was over Orange like a is week. The new Black. Yeah. Since eight. Oh my gosh. I had to watch all of Since Eight <laughs> in one day. And it was so good. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I loved it. What would I eat every day if I could? Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with anything, sausage. Anything, anything, anything with sausage. Or gravy. <laughs> oh, I do. I'm like, I have such a, I'm such a weird mix too, because I'm, I'm Mexican and Irish, and I think I get both, like, tastes from both sides. Definitely. But I love sausage and mashed potatoes and gravy. Like, oh my gosh, it must be from my Irish side. Because I feel like that's not really anything to do with the Mexican side. Don't know. <laughs> but, but yeah, I think that's what oh, it would be. Yeah. It could be. Or Asian food, because yeah. I love Asian food. Yeah, and then, I don't know, for you. French fries. French fries, I think, <laughs> is probably it. He loves making cheese fries. Yeah. So I feel like if you could only eat one thing, you could be you would be satisfied with just cheese I'd fries. Be dead in a year. Yeah. So. It would not be good for you. <laughs> that would be so bad for you. Who is my best friend? Lauren. And your best friend is John. Or Indy. Or Indy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our dog. Oh, <laughs> Is that bad? That's sad. <laughs> That's not sad. I said John. John's a person. Yeah, John. <laughs> John is a person. So, yeah. Human friend. Easy John. <laughs> That's a lot of questions. That was a lot of questions. That was a lot of questions. I was questions. not prepared. You said, hey, let's make a video. <laughs> I didn't really tell you what and we were doing. This was like 100 questions. It was not. It was like 30. Now you all know more about us. Yeah, hopefully you know more about Megan and, and this yeah. guy who keeps showing up every now and then yeah. in the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please subscribe for more and like this if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.